Gaffer, what have you said to the players after that performance? I, said, I told them it wasn't good enough for me, um, for the fans. That's not a good enough performance from QPR. Um, for as good as we've been in recent weeks, we, we totally lost our way today. Um, nobody stops you working hard and nobody stops you winning tackles and grafting and being a man out there. And I didn't see that enough today. And that's the reason we've been beat. We've been outfought by Oxford. Um, we didn't track runners. We've been outrun by Oxford. Outrun and outfought are two things that you, you, you can't put down to anything else but your personality. You've got to fight and you've got to run harder than the opposition. That's what we're going to have to do this season. We're up against it. Everyone knows. I'm glad that we've had a right kick up the backside like that on the last day of pre-season because we need to go into next week not thinking we're this team, this great team that's going to do brilliant. I'm pleased with where we are in some aspects, but that that wasn't good enough. Listen, I've... I have to say we've got two boys at centre half who haven't played a league game between them, you know. But where's the protection for those boys as well? You know, that's that's tough for me to take, and uh, and I want to make sure that next week that's that's totally reversed. We've got to run harder, we've got to fight harder, we've got to be hard to beat. Like I say, that's that's not acceptable for a pre-season game. Um, it definitely won't be acceptable in the league. We've let in five goals. Mm -hmm. Why has, it been, why has it been so easy to get in amongst us at the back? We didn't track runners. We let a set piece in at the end. Um, there was a up back and through, a basic goal against us. We were poor today, very poor, you know. Um, I'm not hanging anyone out to dry as I never do. Um, I'll, I'll protect the boys, but believe me, we'll be going through that with a fine tooth comb because if people don't want to try, then they won't be playing for the team because a little bit of last year sort of going behind and and not not fighting to get back into the game almost admitting defeat can't have that can't have that at all you know and i've just said to him we need to be hard to beat we've got to be hard to beat this year you know we have got some of the new signings to come um i think we need another maybe another couple but um it's tough you know it's tough we we can't afford to get players from various clubs, we just can't afford to do it, and uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to work with what I've got to make sure that we are solid. We're hard to beat first and foremost, rather than easy to break down like Oxford broke us down today. Finally, on today's game, further forward, very little was created. The goalkeeper was hardly worked. Yeah. What can you work on to improve that? Yeah, we we are, I mean, after last week against Wimbledon, and then ready in midweek, you know. We create all those chances and then suddenly they just dry up today. We, there's got to be reasons. I've got my own opinions. I, I, I will look deeply into this, but um, that was not good enough. Going forward, defending, that just wasn't good enough for me. And I'm going to make sure that the boys will be firing next week. I'll give my best, that's what I'll say. Um, the boos at the end, yeah, rightly so. They've come, they've paid their money. They've seen their team get, get beat convincingly by a League One side today. Um, Apologise to the fans, but, you know, put it on me. I'm the manager. Dominic Gape has played another game as a trialist. What's the situation with him and how did he do? Yeah, Dom's done all right. I know exactly what I'm going to get for Dom, but again, it's, uh, you know, it shows probably where we are um, that we have to have someone on trial who's struggled with injury for a couple of years, you know. Um, it is tough, you know. There is, there is hopefully another signing in the pipeline coming up, but... Um, you know, losing Jimmy Dunn today, which looks like a nasty one, um, just, you know, compounds things, you know, it's because uh, centre-halves we're really struggling with at the moment and, um, you know, with Jake injured and now Jimmy injured, uh, Morgan Fox has come through the door and needs to get up to speed quickly. And as I say, two boys who played today, you know, thank you, gave their all for me. But, um, you know, there's no league games between them, so I, I did feel for them at times. What's the latest on Jimmy? Uh, yeah, his shoulder, it's a shoulder injury. Um, I'm not sure how bad it is, but um, he looked pretty He looked pretty hurt, you know, at the end. And I think that was a big moment of the game, him going off. But um, hopefully he'll be recovered soon. And where are we with Jake Clark Salter? Are you hopeful of having him available next Saturday? Um, we'll see, yep, yeah, we'll see. We may, have to, we may have to push people a bit further than we thought we would, you know, with, uh, with what we've got at the moment. But... Um, you know, we uh, we seem to have lost players in one specific position, and that's uh, that's tough to take. But um, listen, we'll uh, we'll make the most of it, and uh, I'm always positive. I'm sure next week will be a different result, 
Um, I'm hoping for a QPR win without a shadow of a doubt. Being away from home is a little bit tougher, but we're going to have to go and we're going to have to upset this form guide, upset these bookies' predictions. Um, but today we'll just compound all the uh, all the justification that people have put us for relegation this year. I am to be nothing but survival this year and make sure we uh, we improve on last season.